Hi, I'm Christy Gibson, and I'm the Faculty Supervisor for In-House Council Field Placements. In-house council field placements are a great way to gain real-world experience, build professional relationships with in-house attorneys, improve legal research, writing, and professional skills, and experience in-house legal work. These opportunities often provide one of the best law school experiences for students, as well as a structured and unique bridge to practice. Oftentimes, students in these opportunities might perform legal research, review and draft a variety of transactional documents, review and draft briefs, draft memoranda, participate in in-house meetings and stakeholder meetings, work with the business team, work on matters pertaining to entity governance, and a whole host of other opportunities. Sometimes students will do contract drafting, work on matters pertaining to intellectual property, work on freedom of information requests, work on materials pertaining to mergers and acquisitions, or do general transactional work. The subject matter of, and day-to-day -day experience for each in-house field placement varies widely. Some students have recently been at the following field placements, Central City Concern, Laird Superfoods Inc., Oregon Public Broadcasting, Pacific Office Automation, the Port of Portland, SEIU 503, TriMet, the UO Athletics Compliance Office, the UO Office of the General Counsel, Vacasa, Vestas American Wind Technology Inc., and others. We have in-house council field placements in the Portland metro area and beyond. If you plan to participate in the Portland program, please contact Professor Manish or Portland Program Managing Director Emily Warner for more information about Portland opportunities. You can also find more information about credit hour requirements and the academic component of field placements on my law under the Registrar's tab. Now let's hear from a student who participated in the unique in-house council field placement opportunity. Yeah, so I, I chose to pursue an in-house uh, council field placement, um, just especially to get that real hands-on experience of things. Don't get me wrong, taking things, taking classes and participating in the classroom is good, but it, and it does lay that necessary foundation for law students. Um, however, that real world experience is really what I was looking for and really why I chose to do a in in-house field placement, especially, you know, with a passion in sports and things like that. Um, so as far as the type of work I did in my field placement, I did a lot surrounding um, the name, image, and likeness, abbreviated to NIL, for those of you who do not know, um, which is kind of a new and has a lot of nuance within the NCAA and college sports. Um, so throughout my role with this came things like reviewing contracts because a lot of the players are, you know, branding themselves and um, informing things with other companies and other vendors. So I reviewed a lot of contracts, making sure those all went by smoothly. Um, and then with that also came contacting the student athletes if there was any discrepancies or anything that may have looked a little fishy or just anything I want to get confirmation on so that, you know, they are complying um, with Senate Bill 5, which is, which is what the Oregon legislator passed in regards to the name, image, and likeness. Um, also regarding contacting vendors, um, contacting the, the head of compliance as well. I work closely with her um, through the systems and, and different programs, which is very, which is very cool. And then other stuff I did with that was um, eligibility waivers, just making sure because students, you know, athletes who transfer and things like that, um, sometimes they want to be immediately eligible. So that was a very cool experience actually getting to write. Um, and, and that transferred over like a lot of legal things I learned throughout law school, which, which was very cool. Um, and then how participating in this uh, field placement can help students connect the work we learned in the classroom um, to what we do in, in practice. Um, I, I found this uh, very useful within this field placement. It's all about the application. So you learn how to really apply those tools you are learning in the, in the classroom to something like I was saying earlier, real life, real hands-on, um, aside from the exam, because you know exam, you take the tools and you apply them on the exam, but here you're taking the tools you're learning in law school and applying them to actually real people with, you know, that comes with <laughs> pros and cons, obviously. Um, but you want that experience. You don't want that first experience being when you're actually in the real world. You kind of want this in law school. Um, I want to say like, not that I don't want to say trial and error because obviously they realize it's fake, but trial and error. <laughs> um, and then lastly, what I found valuable about the school placement, but just it gave me a deeper look inside at exactly, um, like I said, what my passion was. So it gave me a, a deeper look inside of the industry and things like that which is very cool. So I got to see kind of the behind the scenes of how I got to gain knowledge of things I would not have got to gain 
um, but for taking this field placement.